beast is your brother. Divine understanding of the law. The wilderness of North America. Let's just say February 20th, 1934, but it's, um, it's like August. Hot like a motherfucker in New York. 2009. You know what I mean? We'll go back to WD for Raw. Let's look at this objectively from a objective point of view as far as we're going to say how can you make a judgment call from the outside looking in? Alright, the first thing I would do is I would look at people's words. I would listen to uh, these uh, naysayers. You know, listen to these naysayers and then see what they have accomplished. What they're doing for their people and what they have done and what they are doing and what they say they will That would be one key. And usually that'll just destroy them off the top because nine out of ten times they're some nobody living in a nobody place going nowhere. Ain't never gonna be nobody and they ain't nobody they ain't gonna refute somebody who freed up this whole nation and gave them the ability to talk the shit. The proof that they were using to say uh W.D. Farrar is not writing exact was some FBI report. Now, if you don't understand science behind FBI, FBI is dealing with the United States government. I don't need to say anymore, right? Who's the founder of FBI? J. Edgar Hoover. I don't need to say anything about him either. You could do some research on J. Edgar Hoover. You could do some research on FBI. You tell me if some Asiatic comes to you and says, Here's W.D. Farrar's works and the things that he did, and here's the FBI's works and the things that they did. And we're going to say since the FBI said that J. Edgar Hoover's not right in exact, that he ain't right. Uh, since J. Edgar Hoover said W.D. Farrar is not right in exact, then he's not right in exact. Come on, G. Give me a break here, man. You mean to tell me you taking the devil's word of God's All right now? The next thing, I want to look at uh, separation of the earth and the moon. The problem is this, if here's the earth and here comes the moon and it's top and it's pulled back, then the moon should be in an elliptical orbit, kind of wobbling around the earth, but it's not. It's in a near perfect circular orbit and stationary, one side always facing the earth. We know this, you can talk this in school, but you really don't think about it. How do you get like that? How's the basketball? famous science fiction writer and a, and a very noted scientist said the moon shouldn't be where it is. I didn't get there. And, by the way, the moon is at the exact distance away from the Earth so that when there is a solar eclipse, it is, covers the exact circumference of the sun. You can see the corona of the sun all around it. You can't see the sun because it's at the exact distance from the Earth where it, it blocks out just the exact circumference of the sun. Whoa, well, that's pretty precise. How does that happen? Now, you telling me that you're going to refute W.D. Farrar, Liza Muhammad, and Farrar Law. The knowledge of W.D., right? I also did the knowledge of Noble Drew. Now, in his books, he speaks of the Great Earthquake. The Great Earthquake, the separation of continents and things of that nature. Guys just speaks on the um, separation of the earth and the moon. You have uh, 120 less success T and tons of units followed by 20 minutes. You have what is called the uh, um, plus degrees that speak on the separation of the earth. Always check and find out who the author is. Who is the author? And then also, what is the ulterior motive to these brethren who out here in YouTube land trying to tell you that uh, certain uh, prophets and certain messengers and uh, certain people aren't right and exact because they might need to check they self. You know, what's their alternative? Are they, trying, are they trying to make some money and sell some books or are they really trying to free up the nation? Or, you know, what are, what are they up to? What, what's their alternative? They're doing what? What's the saving power what they tell me? You feel me? So, anyway, I'm on the A-Train.
heading on into Medina. The guards is much meaner. And uh, that's how we do it, son. Won't take nothing on face value. You know what I'm saying? Quote your lessons. Get your quotation down. Get them plus degrees under your belt. Um, you know, make sure you do your research. And I can't emphasize enough about not taking things on face value because a lot of people here, a lot of people out here in Wilderness North America, they're howling about this and they're howling about that. They're talking about they research this and they research that. And then when you look at their uh, information that they got, they really didn't do the research. And we know that the FBI tried to, uh, tried to frame, um, the FBI tried to frame uh, Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say peace to the nation. Peace to God to the earth. Y'all didn't know that, uh, man, the thing is up on it. I ain't letting nothing slide. You know how we do it. Set the record straight. And we believe in setting the record straight. You feel me? Anyway, with that, I'm going to say peace. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep it real. And I'm out. Find and understand I'm going to law. Witness North America. On this A-Train, you know what I'm saying? I'm out. Hey.